Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Central Eyes. And today we've got my spring 2022 top 10 list. Now, I know a lot of you don't like top 10 lists. Well, tough. YouTube likes it. Um, it fits the YouTube algorithm and it sends more views my way. So if you don't like top 10 lists, then turn away now. This is my spring 2022 list. Tried to put a few different ones in there, but there's certain ones which I'm always gonna go back to. And we'll start straight in at number 10 and it's a new one. And it's from Yves Saint Laurent and it's Landry Delorme Blue Electric. I've recently done a review on this, which you can find on the screen or in the description. And this is a warm, spicy, aromatic. It's got a bit of freshness in there. So it's ideal for the colder spring days. That's why it's in there at my number 10. So at number nine. Now I tend to find that a lot of fragrances which are good for spring are also good in autumn. And my number nine is from Moschino, and it is good old teddy bear, Toy Boy. So this has got like a, a green rose in it. It's got pink pepper, it's got pear, it's got spices, it's got florals, and it's a standout fragrance where nobody's gonna smell like you. It really is a unique fragrance and very daring for the designer realm. So I definitely recommend Moschino Toy Boy. That's my number nine. At number eight, and this is more of an older school fragrance. It's from Chanel and it's Platinum Egoist. So this is an aromatic fougere. It's fresh and spicy. It's got lavender, geranium, oak moss. There's herbs and florals in there. Really enjoyable fragrance and amazing for this time of year. On to my number seven, and this is from Hermes. It was released last year, and it is H24. So this is like got a grassy green feel to it, but it's also got a metallic note in there. It's aromatic, it's soapy and fresh, but I think if the one thing that would sums it up more than anything else to me, it smells a bit like a hot iron with grass and florals. That's the sort of vibe that you're getting for this really, really enjoyable fragrance. One that I've really enjoyed wearing. So onto my number six, and this is from Victor and Rolf, as you might be able to hear from the rattling around. And this is Spice Bomb Fresh. So this is a sharp and zingy version of Spice Bomb. It's fresh and spicy, the citruses, aromatics, there's like a sea salt accord in there as well. You get a nice oak moss in the dry down, really enjoyable and a nice different take on the Spice Bomb range. So onto my top five. And you couldn't find a list of mine without the mention of one brand and it's normally in there and it's a Guerlain. And this time I've gone with Guerlain Vetiver. So this is vetiver heavy, as the name would suggest. It's citrusy, it's woody, it's got spices in there, and it's quite earthy. I do have a vetiver extreme, but that is an extreme version, and it might be a bit too much for some people. So vetiver. If you want to get into those grassy green fragrances, then this is ideal start for you. So onto my number four. This is one that I picked up at the end of summer last year and it's Dior Sauvage Alexia. So it's warm, it's spicy, it's got a fougere feel to it and it's got a lovely licorice note in there which I really, really enjoy. Um, it's been an amazing fragrance. It was one that I first jumped onto because my wife loved it so much. And it's a, it's a really nice take on the Sauvage line and it takes it away from anything that you've ever smelt before by Dior Sauvage. So if Dior Sauvage isn't for you, then I suggest going and giving this a try. 
On to my number three, and I am kicking myself that I haven't smelt this more often. I smelt it the other day uh, when I was working out my list and I was like, just fell in love with it again and I've wore it three days running. And it is from Bulgari. And it's Bulgari Man, but it's the wood essence. Some people would have expected me to say wood neroli, but I think that's more of a summer frag anyway. But this is absolutely gorgeous. So it's tangy, but it's got like a, a tangy sweet opening. It's woody, as you expect, with a name called Wood Essence. But it's like a sweet wood, and there's a bit of spiciness and greenness to it. Really, really enjoyable fragrance, and I'm addicted to it at the moment. So at number three, Bulgari Man Wood Essence. So on to my next one, and this is another one I've got an obsession with. In so much so that I've gone and bought two flankers and I've got another flanker on the way. And it's from Hermes and it's Tear de Hermes. Absolutely love this fragrance. It's a spicy, earthy, woody, almost dirty orange. It's a very unique fragrance and one that absolutely performs beastly on me. Uh, whenever I'm walking around, no matter where it is, what occasion, doing whatever, I keep getting whiffs of this and I absolutely love it. And it's brilliant for this time of the year. It's one of those fragrances where you just can't wait for spring to come around so you can start wearing this. So at number two, Tear the Hermes by Hermes. And that's the EDT. So on to my number one, and I think it was my number one last year, so no surprise when Tom Ford's Beau de Jour comes out. So this is a lavender bomb, an aromatic fougere that is the first thing I reach for when spring days come along. And I think I'll reach for it ever more. And there's talk about different versions coming out of this. So I think I'm gonna have to get a backup bottle of this one. I absolutely love it. And I don't think I could cope if I hadn't got it. So by number one is Beau de Jour by Tom forward so i hope you like that list please let me know in the comments below what fragrances you would have included in your spring top 10 let me know if any of these would have got into that list and don't forget to like and subscribe it always helps the channel and i'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant